Uh oh. Danger. Danger. Get me out of here. In my face. Ow. Ow. deer in here sometimes I was back here a couple days ago well, I was back here like a week ago and you couldn't get this far I think that's some of my tracks then I was back here a few days ago and I got stopped up here a little bit farther It looks like there's lots of trails now. That doesn't necessarily mean it's open. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty sloppy right there. I think this is where I got stuck last time. Well, I didn't get stuck, but I stopped. Not quite this far. I was going to bring my fishing pole. I think I'm going to bring it next time. Or no, I think I got this far. I don't remember. Somewhere in here. No, yep, I got past here. Got through this. I think it's like around. We I think we go this way and then that way. And then we're as far as I got. Add a little assist. Actually, I think that was it. It's a little bit wet here. There's a big old dock. Right here, there was just a skunk. No, I went through this part. But the water was so high, I couldn't see that dock. That one over there. You can kind of see it under all the branches. I think, maybe it'll show up. It might be too far. With the GoPro, you know. Just a big old red. I know I put a. Uh, uh, I should go look for it. A geocache thing in there, like ten years ago. Like with like 
Oh, uh, like a Lego Jedi guy or something. But this is a good spot to fish for catfish. And a lot of people, I'm learning, love to eat it. <laughs> I guess I've eaten it before, but we have so many good fish around here. But anyway, I could bring out my pole and catch a quick catfish. I'll do that in a coming up video. But I love this quiet cat bike. Gets me a lot of good places. I don't know how many miles. I, I, I guess maybe we've gone two miles. I'm not going really fast. Maybe we should. I just don't know if this ends somewhere. There's a lot of big hoof tracks I could be showing you, I suppose. That seems kind of muddy. Usually where you have to pedal down and get through stuff like that, you know, well I mean usually on a regular bike you'd have to bear down, maybe go down a gear or two, get through that soft sand. Well not only with these huge, huge ass tires does it get through the sand good, but you just hit the hit the button and it goes for you. This would have been the spot to fish. Nice and sandy. Not very long ago. I'm not exactly sure. 100 years. This area was inhabited by what I've heard to be up to a half a million. And I believe it's Chief Blackhawk. Half a million Native Americans. And there's a lot of people that find uh, arrowheads and stuff. And the river really usually doesn't go this high. Look at that, that could get dangerous. River usually doesn't go this high, so usually when it comes back down, this is a good time to Go searching for arrowheads and stuff. Pull away a bunch of silt that's been there. That's cool. It's probably kind of dangerous. I gotta check my backpack. I got that OCD deal where even though I'm sure that I, uh, you know, zipped it up and buckled her down and everything, which I did. I still gotta check five or six more times. So this is the Minnesota River. It connects with the Mississippi River this way. Oh, I don't know, not that far by river probably two or three miles down that way uh i'm i'm sure i'll be taking you on some mississippi river runs and i might even be able to somehow get this one onto that one but this one's looking like some of the driftwood and stuff we might be screwed But this part right here, we should be standing up, oh, I mean, anywhere from eight feet of shore to, I've seen, I've seen where the shore is out past where those trees are. And they've had to come through here with the dredge so the barges can go through. So. raccoon tracks is that a dog yeah there's too many people tracks around here it has to be a dog I mean I suppose it could be a coyote but to me it seems risky for a coyote to be right here there's so much other stuff going on just south of us And I mean like 100 feet, 200 feet south. Uh-oh. 
Danger, danger. Get me out of here. In my face. Ow, ow. We made it. Thought too much whining. See, that's the normal path in there. All this sand up here is fresh silt. Sure left a lot of it. Get a little speed. Yeah, all that muck down there, that's the normal path. I don't know how much further we're gonna get. Oh, we're good. Usually this is, by this time of year, the beavers have done their work. I'll risk it where this guy did. Oh, this is gonna be bad. No, it's not bad at all. I just heard something. There's a few good spots back here. There's a bunch of deer and a couple good little holes. Chris comes out here all the time, take wildlife pictures. There's a lot of duck holes and things, you know, just right off the river. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever seen the trail this close to the river. It's kind of cool. Uh-oh. This could hurt. Ow. This way. There's that other bridge. I was wondering if I could make it to it. Oh boy. Go over this guy's tracks. Egrets hate it. They sound like dinosaurs. They get all cranky. Those blue herrings too. Sounds spooky. You're camping out at night. And they start sound like flying pterodactyls. I see a big green sign up there. That does not seem nat very naturey. Just shut up. You're ruining the rest of the sounds. It says nature to me. Oh boy. There's that other bridge. I got another geocache out there. Looks like we're 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 dead. Darn it. How bad does it look? Yeah. Too deep. Too deep for sure. <laughs> 